The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we were trying to go into this old manor to find some guy named Herman. But things were kind of difficult because... Because... Alright, I have a whole bunch more egg yolks, so poison should not be as much of a problem, aside from I'm going to be taking a ton of damage during the battle because it takes forever for the enemies to die. And I bought a few extra kitty trees while I was at it. Now, let's, um, let's not go after that treasure there. Let's instead deal with these guys. We got a zombie female. Oh, please tell me that thing is labeled as a skunk. Aww. Hi, Rax. Hi! Oh my goodness, so much confusion! Does Marshmallow still get her attack? No. Even though her confusion was cured before she got to attack, she still died. Wait, Marshmallow is a guy, right? Or a girl. Girl, right? Oh my goodness. You know, I would cure uh, confusion, but it's almost not worth it because it winds up getting cured anyway, and plus these guys are just going to cast it right back. Oh, so they're out of MP. And they're still alive. What the heck? Is this one of those games where you're supposed to take the time to grind for a while in order to survive the next area? Because that would seriously suck. Let's deal with Hyrax. It's causing more damage. A lot more damage. <sighs> Exasperated sigh. I just had to choose Legend of Felinar. I was thinking as I was waking up earlier, getting out of bed, it's like, I wonder if it would be better if I played crazy skating instead. I should have played crazy skating instead. For those of you who don't know, crazy skating is Tony Hawk for RPG Maker 1. I'm not kidding. Alright. Got that special art again. But we're gonna save it. Heal and... Uh, let's not go down there. We'll, we'll go to the right. Oh, we got bats. Vamp! Because every game needs bats. Seems to be weak, but knowing the rest of the enemies here, it probably does something stupid. Oh, it's already dead. Well, we don't need to watch this. Uh, watch me kill this enemy. Also, I just remembered I have this. Wait, no, I didn't buy one. Darn. I totally should have bought the ball of yarn. Oh well, let me just keep heading this way. Oh my goodness. This place kind of sucks. Uh, and now we got them bones, them bones, them old bones. I thought I was going to making a good song reference, but then I realized that's dry bones, not old bones. Random encounters. Why did it have to be random encounters? Alright. One down. 
Seems that Rob is the better healer. Not that he heals more HP, he just causes less damage. And also Rob takes more damage. He learned something. Cure confused. 10 MP to cure- No, that's not worth it. Uh, I wanna get something out of this trip. Oh my goodness. You know what? Uh, I haven't accomplished anything, but I might go ahead and try to flee. Regather some items, buy some yarn. That sounds like a good plan, right? Wow, a critical hit and marshmallow only took one damage. And how much is Rob taking? More than one. No, seriously, how much is he taking? Wait, why am I complaining that Rob's not getting attacked? Oh. I asked for it. Yeah, I'm escaping. It's too bad I can't run from battles. Did I mention how unfortunate it is that I can't run from battles? Oh hey, I ran a bat from a battle. Let's um go ahead and use up the rest of these here kitty treats. And a kibble while we're at it. And let's see if we can't escape without taking too much damage. A spider. Yeah, I'm screwed. Those two level ups? Goodbye. And there we go. Well, that was a complete waste of time. And unfortunately, I do not have money to buy those... Huh. Well, actually... Which one of these is... Oh, it's that. Is usable out of battle? Does Confuse even last out of battle? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Screw that. I'm going back to the forest to grind. Again. Alright, so here we back are back in the mansion. I took the time to grind Marshmallow to level 9 and Rob T. Blob the 3rd to level 8. He also learned stuff. Marshmallow didn't, but he did. Let's see, we got Feathered to Stir, which cures Petrify. Oh, great. We're going to have enemies that cast stone. And if they cast stone as frequently as they do confusion and poison, I'm in trouble. What else? Oh, yeah. Cure. Costs 20 MP to heal 30 HP. That's still a lot. Only be able to use it a couple times. But it's a bargain. I think. Let's see. No, hold on, let's see. Let's see, so to cure 30 HP with this, we would cast 15 MP. That costs more! Well, I suppose if you're in a bind in the middle of a battle, cure would be more useful, but outside of battle, you're better off casting Tree Sap. Actually, that's not a bad thing. That means there's a reason to continue using tree sap, so never mind. I'll accept that. Alright, let's see how much better this goes. Uh, this is a dumb idea, but I'm gonna try going after that Vampress thing again. Alright, that's looking a little bit better. Also, I turned off the battle messages because I don't care. I already know what the attacks that these enemies are using, and we need to go a little bit faster. And that is, in fact, going faster. Alright, let's... Uh, you know, I was kind of wanting to comment that the encounter rate isn't terrible, but, you know, it's actually not... Uh, not very acceptable. In fact, it's random encounters. Shouldn't have them. 
Also, I forgot to buy some of those um, balls of yarn, so after this vampirist battle, I'm going to head back to town and do that. Also, I would recommend once the spiders are gone, totally using, uh, totally curing that poison because I was uh, that poison is causing uh, causing a lot of damage at this point. Oh, and that was a waste. No wait, wait, no, it wasn't. I was going to heal it after, anyway, even after if even if it was after battle. Now let's uh, use a few of these here tree saps. That'll do. Okay, let's go ahead and check this again. Alright, time for a rematch, Miss Vampress. Let's let's find out what our regular attacks do first. Seven six. And how much is Rob T Blob taking? Oh goodness, poison. At this point it might actually be worth using slime. Discharge slime, 20 damage. Let's use it again. And there we go. That's gonna make guessing how much HP she has kind of difficult, but I don't care! Only 35 experience? Well, that's 35 experience from one enemy, but still. Got 50 gold! It was not worth it! Alright, I'm going to escape from this place and buy some yarn. After dealing with some bats. Alright, we're back. Rob T. Bl Blob the Third learned a new sp uh, spell. Flex, which cures poison or uh, pa paralyze. Now let's explore more of this place. Also, more bats. On that note, the bats uh, have an ability to steal your HP and heal themselves with it. But at this point, it doesn't seem to be that much. It's three. And it's probably always three, considering it's a skill. Uh, magic spells and Archie Maker always cause the same amount of damage no matter what level you are. With the exception of if elemental strengths and weaknesses, of course. But aside from that, they're unchanging. Nothing. And... A Gilk. And now Marshmallow is at level 10. These battles are going a lot better at this point. Is that Herman? There's stairs there, so I don't know. Dr. Pepper. Lantis, were you involved with this game? What does that do? Revive. I could have used that a long time ago. Although the unfortunate thing about Revival in RG Maker 1... Revive only revives somebody with 1 HP. And since people are automatically revived at the end of battle, it's almost not worth it because basically all that's going to happen is you're going to revive them with 1 HP and then the enemy's going to immediately kill them again. Yes, it's that sort of game. RG Maker 1, that is. When it comes to- oh, I'm poisoned. When it comes to revival in RG Maker 1, if I ever do make a game for this, I'm going to make a revive spell that just revives your whole team. That way, at least somebody will survive if more than one person is dead. By the way, you might have noticed that I'm not using the auto ability. This ability right here, the auto command. You might be noticing that I'm not using that. Um, if I use that, what would happen is Rob T. Blob the Third would wind up using that one spell that costs 20 HP over and over again. So yeah, I'm not doing that. That said, the auto command can sometimes be useful. For example, if somebody needs heal, the AI will 
usually heal that person. Along with that, when it comes to magic spells, the AI knows what an enemy's elemental weakness is, and if the AI can take advantage of that, they're gonna use it. Those Hyrexes still cause a bit of damage to Rob T. Blob the Third. Alright, what's down here? Gruar. I know there's a treasure chest. Treasure! Oh, again? Uh, are we a little stronger now? No, I think we're at the same level we were last time. Or else the level up didn't really do anything. Critical hit, that's what I need. Uh, I'll use um, this once. And there we go. Now I have a much better idea of how much HP that thing has. And what's in the treasure? Kitten Claw. Is that a new weapon? Because that would be slightly awesome. I say slightly because it's probably not going to be worth a whole lot. Going from attack power to 2 to an attack power of 5. So that's one and a half more damage than what I'm already causing. Why are we going from a cat claw to a kitten claw? Uh, and I don't want to lose this progress. I found a couple of treasure chests, so let's use the ball of yarn. I'll heal and save. Alright, made it back to this point. Rob T. Blob the Third learned another skill Ooze. Causes poison for against a single enemy. I know that probably sounds useless, but if future enemies are going to be any li anything like the ones I fought here, where it takes forever to kill them, that's actually going to be really useful. It's going to be quite a bit extra damage on top of what I'm barely causing. That said, this is definitely going better now that I've leveled up. Sure, I had to do some grinding, but after doing some grinding and exploring bits and pieces of this dungeon, I'm doing quite well for myself. Look at that, I was able to win that battle before I could even finish talking about what I was talking about. And that's a preemptive against me. Alright, so who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm the king of the world! Or I used to be. Okay. Also, I guess that's Feather Duster. I'm not sure why Feather Duster would be curing poison, but... Whatever. Alright, we got another floor here, and we got a ghost cat. Stay away from rocking chairs. There is somebody mowing the lawn outside of my window. Anyway, as I was saying, this is good advice from one cat to another. Especially when the cat giving advice is a ghost. That's probably significant. Are there random encounters up here? Oh, who are you? Being dead really sucks. Why? What is this? Is this healing? It's healing! No, it's a save point. Okay then. Wow, I've been playing for over two hours at this point. That's what all that grunting does. Thankfully, since the person who created this game is no longer around, I don't have to worry about sitting and waiting for them to respond to any of these videos. So if I wind up recording more than a week's worth of episodes. Oh well. Alright, so Marshmallow is now at level 11. And I'd like to point something out. Let's see here. Wow, that's a lot of experience I've gained in just these couple of first couple of hours. But here's the interesting thing. The way RG Maker 1 handles experience is really weird. 
once you hit level 21, 22, the amount of experience that you need in order to level up caps out at like 20, no wait, 32, 32,000 experience per level. Only at level 21 or 22, something like that. There it is, in the fireplace. What was that glowing orb? Was that you looking towards the fireplace? Was that like the cat's eye? I see you. I don't know. But considering we're at the beginning of the game and at level 11 already, it really makes me wonder how high of a level are we going to be going here? Thieves will pay. I'm Herman, owner of this manor. Now I'll add you two to the ghosts that haunt this place. Boss fight. Using this song. You know, the song that's been playing in random battles, I would consider a boss theme. And the bo theme that the song that's playing right now, which is named Battle 2, I would actually consider the regular battle theme. But apparently the person who created this game is just basing names and stuff off of stuff. Also, I just realized I'm at l I probably could have gone back to town and acquired new skills from that one place at some point. Oh well. So now we're fighting Herman. What is he going to do? I don't know. Let's find out. He's poisonous. Also, oh, let's turn off, uh, turn battle messages back on so we can actually find out what that attack is called. Oh my goodness. This might be painful. This might be very, very painful. Agility down. Yeah, you, should, you can go ahead and keep using that. That's not actually going to affect anything outside of turn order, which you're already getting the first turn. Also, uh, not good. I'll try ooze. That would be awesome if I could poison this boss. For a moment there, I thought I was actually going to poison that boss. Well, that's the only time I can use that, so, um, let's heal. Yeah, you can just you just keep using that. I should probably cure that poison. He's not using it much. And that's causing a lot of damage. I might be in trouble here. Let's uh use a couple of these. I was right. So now the fun begins. I get to see if I can heal and restore. That was my only time that I could heal. Or revive, rather. Yay! I was able to heal. However, he can still go down in one hit. So, let's do this. And there's more poison. That's quite a lot of damage. I'm using up all my kitty treats here. That's annoying. Like, seriously. Stop using poison. Oh, 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 oh! No, that didn't kill it. Last kitty treat. Should have used it on Rob. Uh. This almost certainly isn't going to help. 
Oh, that guy knows confusion. That would be unfortunate if he used confusion. Alright, no more healing. Let's just attack and hope he's almost dead. Hey, he was almost dead! Hooray! 200 experience. Now that's more like it. Huh, level 11. New art learned. How can this be? Song reference. Pretend I put in. I'm already dead? Uh. One old coin. Actually, I like how it's always one old coin. Okay, I got my coin back. Shall we leave this creepy place? Ooh, and it just sends us straight back out. Or we get a cutscene. Meanwhile... Oh, we got an evil cat. Wonderful. No, that's Tiger, that ghost cat we saw earlier. How goes the mission, Tiger? Very well. Soon the kitten will be one of us. Then she will bring others to our side. Felinar will belong to you soon. That is unfortunate. Good. You've done well, Tiger. Watch out, though. The other one has escaped. I'll keep my eyes open for her. Oh, okay, good. That means Mar Marshmallow is, in fact, female. See that you do. Now go before you're discovered. Discovered by who? Who else would be here? Oh, uh, we're not sent out. We're just sent downstairs. Uh, um, by chance did I get healed? No. I should probably use up the last of these kibbles that- Oh wait, ball of yarn. Screw this dungeon. So, what does this mean? We got an old coin, and we still don't know what Herman's Charm is supposed to do, unless it's just for getting in there, in which case, why wasn't it a key? Oh, because using it as a key would have gotten rid of it, and we want to be able to go in there multiple times. Okay. So what's this old coin? It's other, so it's not something that you can actually equip. Also, I can sell the cat's claw. And before I forget, we're going to save first off. Actually, first, we're going to heal. Then we're going to save, and then we're going to go to that skill shop to see if we can learn stuff. As fast as we're go gaining levels, we're going to really want to learn skills before it gets to the point where gaining levels becomes too difficult. Also, we're supposed to be getting a pass in order to cross that bridge. At what point is that going to happen? There's probably somebody new in town I'm supposed to talk to, or maybe... Or maybe the old coin is the pass. I don't know, we'll find out next time. For now, let's learn stuff. I can learn Chase Tail, and Rob T. Bl the Blob cannot learn anything yet. Why? Because... I don't know, he's at the same level now. Also, I have a ton of money. So what is... What is that, uh... Chase Tail gonna get me? It's gonna get me Chase Tail. Which confuses a group of enemies. That might actually be useful. Cost 15 HP. At this point, that's not bad. Alright. Um... Next time, I, I guess that's it for this episode. Next time, we're going to try to figure out how we're supposed to cross that bridge. I'll see you then.